In this lecture, we will look at designing DFA for binary numbers that is divisible by 3. So, for example, 0 is divisible by 3, 1, 1 is divisible by 3, 3 is basically divisible by 3, 6 is divisible by 3, then 9, how do you write 9? is divisible by 3 and so on. So these binary numbers will be given as string. So sigma is of course 0 comma 1 and you have to design an automaton which will accept strings which are divisible by 3. So this looks a perplexing problem because how will I know that you are given this number and I will be proceeding like this. Okay, so a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a2, A1, A0. So this is the binary number. So I will be starting from left. So MSB, second most MSB, third most MSB and then I will go to LSB. So what happens? This is how, let's try to look a little bit about binary numbers. So this is nothing but this number is equal to AN2 to the power of N plus AN minus 1, 2 to the power of N minus 1 a n minus 2 into 2 to the power of n minus 2 plus a 1 into 2 to the power of 1 plus a 0 into 2 to the power of 0. Okay. So the thing is, this is important. So now when I say that I have to design a DFA to find that we are given binary representation and we have to find if it is divisible by 3. So when I talk about divisibility by 3, numbers can be of the form, again, so it will be of the form 3m, 3m plus 1 and 3m plus 2. So these are the three states. A number is exactly divisible by 3. It leaves a remainder 1 when divided by 3. It leaves a remainder 2 when divided by 3. Now let's try to look how we can make some states. So these are the states, that's fine. These are the states. But what happens? How what are the transitions? So these are the states. So when a number is divisible by 3. So now we have to think about the transitions. So let's say we have some number which is let's say 1, 1. So this number is there. If now what can come here, if I'm scanning like this, 1, 1, and I see a 0, or I can see a 1, okay? So there is a place I scan the next number. So what will happen? It means I get a 0 here, or I can get a 1. So whatever was there, those numbers will get a left shift by 1, and I get a 0 or 1 here. This is the idea. So, when you have something like 1, 0, 1, 0, okay, this value is 2 to the power of 1, 2, what, 8 plus 2, this is 10. If I get a 0 here, what is happening? I have shifted everything to the left. So, it means it is getting multiplied by 2, so it is 20 plus 0. Now, if you check 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 square. So 4 plus 2 cube plus 2 to the power of 4, 16. So this is 20. But if I shifted this and replaced it by 1, which I could do, so then again, there was a left shift plus 1 is added. So in this case, it will become 21. So now this gives us the idea that when I'm scanning, so I have read numbers till a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2, a n minus 3. And I see another number a n minus 4. Whatever was here is left shifted by 2 by 1. So it becomes multiplied by 2. And then you if a n minus 4 is 0, 0 will be added. If a n minus 4 is 1, then a 1 will be added. Okay. So if it is of the form 3m, now what happens? If you write here either 0 or 1, then it will become what? 3m. Okay, so 3m twice into 3m. So it will become 6m. 
uh, zero will come it will remain zero and six m plus one if a one comes so it means what if a zero comes it is divisible by three because six m is a multiple of three it will remain here if a one comes six m plus one so six m is divisible by three leaves remainder zero it will be of the form three m plus one it goes there now if the number is of the form 3m plus 1 i scan the next number so it's multiplied by 2 everything is left shifted by 2 by 1 so it's multiplied by 2 so it becomes 6m plus 2 now if i get a 0 what will happen it will be 6m plus 2 if i get a 0 here if i get a 1 it will be 6m plus 2 plus 1 which is 6m plus 3 so on getting a one you are again it's becoming a multiple of three and if i'm getting a zero it's becoming 3m plus two so here on zero now if it is 3m plus two again i see a zero or a one it's left shifted so multiplied by two 6m plus four so it is 6m plus three plus one if i see a zero it will become 6m plus 3 plus 1 itself. It is of the form 3m plus 1. So if I see a 0, it will go here. But if I see a 1, it will be 6m plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. It becomes 2. So it is of the form 3m plus 2 itself. It remains here. So on seeing a 1. So this is our state machine for finding a number if it is divisible by 3. So, let's try to see this. Now what's happening? So, let's try to see if it is correct first. Okay. Oh, so, much space is not left. So, what I will do is let's try to see if I get now something like try to write 18 18 will be 16 plus 2 so 1 and then 8 is 0 4 is 0 and 2 1 and this is the for 18 the binary number so let's process it I get a 1 so I'm here so this is Q0 q1 q2 so q0 i get a 1 i come to q1 i get a 0 i go to 0 i go to q2 then i get a 0 i go to 0 i go to q1 i get a 1 from q1 if i get a 1 i go to Q0. If I get a 0 at Q0, I remain at Q0. And this is the acceptance state. It is divisible by 3. So I reach Q0. So this is divisible by 3. Now let's try to see something. Let's say 16. 16, 8, 4, 2, 0. So this is 16. So what happens here? So I'm cluttering a bit, but let's say I start from Q0, I see a 1, I go to Q1, so this is processed, uh, Q1, I, 1 I see, go to Q1, I see a 0, 0 if I see here, I go to Q2, again I see a 0, then I go to Q1, so 1 0 0 is done again a 0 q1 a 0 comes i go to q2 and again a 0 comes q2 to 0 it remains at q1 so it is at q1 and it means this is of the form 3m plus 1 so 16 is of the form 15 plus 1 or 3m plus 1 it is 3 into 5 plus 1 so this is the state machine or DFA for binary number which is divisible by 3. Okay, so 
you can similarly make for four also which we will discuss in the next lecture